Hello Flight Sim fans and welcome to the Practically Geek channel. In this video I'm very excited to be showing you an exclusive first look at Coventry Airport developed by Morgan Thomas. He has been developing and creating this airport on his own and I've been speaking to him through Discord for a while now and chatting about his progress on this particular scenery. He does actually work at this airport so what you're gonna see is very true to life and he has crammed in so much detail it is a work in progress so what you see is gonna be um, as I say it's, a, it's gonna be in progress so please bear that in mind if you do see something out of place or uh, wrong this will be changed in the full release and I will be doing a video uh, like my normal videos a before and after look at the airport once it's finished but for now please treat this as a work in progress like I said before and I'm gonna take you around to show you some of the detail that Morgan has put into the scenery so moving across from left to right you can already see some see quite a lot of detail in this scenery there's custom buildings hangars a lot of retexturing has been done a lot of work outside of the airport of all has also been done in the road networks and Morgan is continuing to improve that and add to it. There's a lot to be said with this airport. As I say, I have been chatting with him da almost daily through Discord about um, his progress and his plans for this particular airport. It is close to his heart, this airport, um, and he wants to recreate it as it stood many years back so this is kind of a hybrid if you like it's um what it looks like now but with buildings that were demolished a couple of years back maybe two or three years ago so you will see buildings if you are familiar with the airport that once stood a couple of years back that's kind of why i said it's a hybrid but as you can see you can already notice those static custom aircraft the old vintage aircraft they look fantastic. I will show you a few of those close up um, throughout the video. Again, work in progress. As I said before, it's already looking fantastic. Morgan has told me that he thinks this is around halfway done now. His progress on the outer road networks and the surrounding scenery will be something he will add after the main release but his plans are purely to get this airport released with the on-site buildings, um, aprons and, and the custom stands, the true to life um, stands for the general aviation aircraft. Um, you'll also see in the background there that the museum is already looking fantastic as well. I'll show you a tiny bit of that as well. And also you would have seen at the start of the video the road junction with those custom uh, railings, uh, traffic guards, the custom traffic lights as well. And that all looks fantastic, especially if you are approaching on that runway. So as you can see, the work that Morgan is doing is um, purely true to life. He wants to make sure that this scenery mimics the real Coventry Airport down to the little things like the small signs, uh, concrete pillars, um, fence posts everything so it looks like if you really went there you could literally one-on-one -on -one scale if you like and you can see that on the side of this building here the signage for the uh, Coventry Airport Club I believe flight simulators Midlands as well so that there's a flight um, flight simulators inside this building uh, I, I can't say I'm too familiar with Coventry Airport I'm learning a lot off Air uh, Morgan about the history and what's there and what has, has gone and um, if you are familiar with the airport, it did once serve holiday uh, charter flights, uh, quite big planes, airbuses and Boeing. So, uh, and now it's just general aviation aircraft. So um, let's move on and have a look around at some of the other details. As I said before, Morgan does work at Coventry Airport. So he has um, great references for his scenery textures that you will see throughout this video have actually been taken directly from pictures uh, of a camera taken on site morgan has gone on site to get the reference points and even the textures for this airport i think that's absolutely insane i think that's a stunning piece of work and it can only add to the realism of this airport 
And again, here is another example of the level of detail and realism that Morgan has injected into the scenery. The Midland Air Museum with lovely static aircraft of all different types. The Avril Vulcan right in front of us there, which looks fantastic. And there's also others, like in the far distance you'll see a Sea Harrier just off in the distance there. And it looks fantastic against something else that is part of the scenery that you probably might not see if you are purely doing flights but if you get that drone camera out like I'm doing now you'll have a you'll be blown away by how much he has packed into this and as I say this is a work in progress which you'll probably hear me say quite a lot throughout this video unfortunately heading over the top here you can see the air park flight center with the custom control tower which again looks spot on to the real Coventry Airport one off into the background there you will see some other default Sobo assets like um, factories and hangars. That is something that Morgan will be changing to the real life uh, distribution centres and factories that are just off, off site of the airport so they're not a part of the airport anymore. One thing that is absolutely insane in this scenery is the custom static aircraft that resemble the real life ones and all the registrations match up to the ones that are based here at Coventry. You can see the airbase hangar in the background there as well as the others which we'll have a close look in just a moment but you can see this lovely Douglas DC-6A, uh, the British Eagle one that is uh, on the grass here at Coventry and it is sad to see them in this state but what a detail this is and there's a couple of more aircraft that I will be showing you in this video that look absolutely fantastic um, as a scenery item as you're taxiing past it just looks fantastic and what about this Avro Shackleton and Nimrod static objects here they <laughs> look fantastic and again you'll be taxiing right past these aircraft depending on what runway you uh, go out on or uh, approach onto and land at but they, they look fantastic and again another reason why I really wanted to show off this piece of scenery by Morgan because he's um, gone ahead and obviously he is he is there working um, at this airport so he will be seeing these in real life but to go ahead and add these into the scenery and just again adds to the realism um, wanting to point out uh, Morgan is currently still waiting on permissions to use some of the static aircraft that you might see in this video um, but hopefully most of them will be there for the release and hopefully he is able to get those permissions uh, if you are watching the video and you do only uh, rights to the uh, static aircraft please uh, give Morgan a nudge I've put all his websites in below uh, his Facebook page for his uh, scenery uh, page so you can see the progress of the uh, as as it comes about Coventry Airport which is great you'll be able to see wh what he adds and potentially when he gives a release day out so um, definitely go down to the description and go to his web page to uh, keep up to date with the scenery let's move on and have a look around a bit more Coventry Airport you can also see he's added the Air Atlantique uh, Douglas DC-6 this is a B variant and this is actually now a cafe I believe uh, I should have asked I don't know whether if it's still open uh, but Morgan's added it all in the ramp up to the cafe and then a couple of benches and chairs just below it where you can sit um, again that looks fantastic another great static model to add to the realism of this airport and just zooming over the top here you can really appreciate the level of detail and the new custom hangers especially the dirt and the weathering on top of the hangar roofs and just the level of detail in the objects that have been added the cars the bins the containers you see some west atlantic planes there as well i'll show you those in a bit more detail in just a second the cessna hangar and then you can see a custom fuel depot with again more admin buildings just over to the north of the entrance there as well and it, it all looks fantastic actually I'm um, I'm really impressed with Morgan's um, progress on this scenery it's fantastic and it's great to hear from him daily on what he's doing and he sends me some great pictures of um, objects in their rendered form or in their bl in their blended state over on the Blender program and it's great to see that I love seeing the progress of sceneries up close and personal when obviously 
uh, I'm doing videos of this nature. And you can just see the precise nature of uh, Morgan's work here, just putting those extra touches to like the guardrails and the, the main entrance here with the barriers and the little little shed type building for the um the gatekeeper to sit in and enjoy his coffee and um, the custom speed uh, signs here 15 miles per hour and just the level of fencing as well and obviously he would probably know that i love my fencing inside those uh, inside these sceneries and doesn't disappoint here even in this uh, work in progress state the custom signage scattered around the scenery it's very very well done morgan has taken time to go around the airport again he works there so he is able to get this looking true to life and you can see that with the signage scattered around the scenery the air atlantique sign here which is a coventry based airline or, or was a coventry based airline in fact I, i'm not too sure if they're still around uh, but certainly the plaque here on the side of the building which again looks fantastic the textures and the the weathering it doesn't look like a new airport i find that with some sceneries the airports look too polished and brand new like the day they were opened but this is one thing i said to morgan when i was speaking to him a while back the buildings look like they've been there for a while and it's it's an aged airport which it is in real life um but i think yeah it's it's fantastic really really well done let's see if we can find some other signs and little details around this airport when I first went into this uh, scenery, I was impressed with this little section here between the hangars. You can see the dirt and the rusts and the imperfections in the hangars and just this little strip that leads this apron with the West Atlantic uh, ATPs on. It's fantastic. And again, there's more Air Atlantic signs there on the hangar and the hangars look fantastic. Again, mention rust and weather, which I always do. Um, quite a lot in fact um but you can see the rust down the edges of the uh the metal on the front there and that looks great i love it and you can actually see what looks like i would say a ground um power unit um with the coventry airport handling symbols on the front of it that's that's amazing and even down to the imperfections and the metal and the chips of paint off it and oh it, it does it just it is really really amazing but you can, you can see obviously the, the, the fire exit, keep clear signs, the um, electrocution warning signs. They're not pin sharp, but look at them. You, they're there, you know what I mean? They're on the side of the doors. The, every, every little bit of detail. The Cessna logo on top of the hangar there. Absolutely fantastic work. And again, the custom signage here on the side of the hangars, the British International, the Cessna. Um, what's that? The is a patriot aviation um cse um aircraft sales as well it it's all fantastic um really really spot on with the detail and morgan has got some absolutely stunning details put into the scenery and if this is the work in progress guys can you imagine what the final release product is going to be and there's there's more signs here arrows there the i mean morgan will be able to obviously tell me which is in this you know buildings with who and what is in these buildings and why they're called the particular um, names they are anson house there general aviation terminal really really great detail and again as you all as you can already tell i'm blown away by it and um i'm glad that i've been able to connect up with morgan and explore his scenery before uh, it's shown to the pub i just really love what he's done with the midland air museum here it looks absolutely stunning it really really does all those static aircraft on show there and i you know <laughs> i'd love to walk through this in virtual reality and hopefully soon i will be able to show you some virtual reality stuff but um i haven't got one yet unfortunately and i really want to be able to walk through these sceneries in vr because we're getting some amazing sceneries aren't we and again look at this one it's so amazing they look absolutely fantastic i i really love i loved i just love the static aircraft on offer on the scenery as well and um they just they really do just make me happy about the the future of this uh, airport and um the scenery that morgan has come up with and he wants to put out and share with everyone because 
I think it's going to be uh, even in well even at this level now it is one of the most detailed airport sceneries I've seen for Microsoft Flight Simulator um, I will be doing a more, more in-depth video once the scenery releases um, I will be doing it similar to my old uh, my sorry my normal videos um, showing you the before and after because this one you will see a massive transformation I promise you that you will see the jump in how different the scenery looks to what it looks like now um, I will end on the last part of the video of the scenery which I want to show you you saw it at the start of the video but I want to take you back to it um, just because I think even though it is outside the airport I just think you will be able to see why this is going to be so detailed and Morgan's intentions of releasing this as the most detailed scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator it really is going to be amazing and that is absolutely fantastic have you ever seen a more pretty scenery approach to an airport in the simulator i mean sure you can put a mediterranean sea coast with people dancing on the beach but that is a pure british traffic junction and yet the only thing that is missing is moving uh, cars but look at it it is so detailed and it's just off the perimeter of the airport as you can see but what a approach you're gonna get or even actually a takeoff you'll you'll see all this and doesn't it look fantastic it, it really does so that was an exclusive first look at coventry airport by morgan thomas if you have enjoyed what you've seen today i would definitely recommend heading to the page dedicated to this airport by Morgan Thomas who's created a scenery page on Facebook that is linked in the description below you can definitely stay up to date with all the progress he is making including a release date when it's announced I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen in this video today I certainly have enjoyed looking around Coventry Airport it's absolutely fantastic it's shaping up to be one of the most detailed sceneries out for Microsoft Flight Simulator and there will be a dedicated before and after video from the default scenery to this one when it releases on my channel. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Practically Geek channel for more videos just like this, including payware and freeware scenery videos. I will have more flight videos in the future with some commentary work over the top i know that people would like to hear me speak while i'm flying rather than just the drone of the airplane engine which is fair enough i i will be doing those very soon and also look out for possibly some aircraft videos i'm quite interested in the upcoming just flight piper pa28 so um i will feature in that in some capacity on my channel thank you for watching and i will see you again very very soon Move to twelve, you make a left turn there now. Another two twelve. Another two twelve, we're ready for the approach now, and I request uh, vectors via two company approach.